Uh, but people kind of freaked out on me anyway because <laughs> I went on at midnight, which is hosted by Chris Hardwick, and it's you know a very like self-proclaimed nerd audience. Yeah. Um, and I said that Star Wars was boring, <laughs> and <laughs> immediately realized what was about to happen because Chris Hardwick like jokingly walked off the set oh, when I said oh, it. I didn't yeah. see that part. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, uh, which, you know, it was in the context of a joke, but also Star Wars is boring. I watched one of them and I couldn't keep going. If I could opt out of ever hearing about Star Wars ever again, I would. Like, <laughs> that I care so little. I, like, I'm aggressively bored by it. <laughs> It feels like an assault. Um, we're gonna get so much hate. We're mail gonna get now. so much. Well, I mean, I feel like everyone already knows where I stand on this now. Yeah, um, you got hate tweets. I got a lot of hate tweets about it from men and women. Um, what did being they say? Very, very. I should pull them up. I guess. Um, Wasn't one of them like you're no longer funny? Yeah, it was like <laughs> you became instantly unfunny after that Star Wars joke. Um, <laughs> One person said, hard to laugh at any of Mr. Emily Heller after that Star Wars joke. I'm sure it is funny. Just so much rage over it. Um, the hashtag war that that episode was lame monsters. And someone said, lame monsters, Emily Heller for hating on Star Wars. Um, oh, <laughs> and nerds. Then, uh, my favorite one is from a woman who said, um, boring Star Wars. Take your fake nerd glasses off and go blow a Wookiee. There are no boring Star Wars, just boring you. <laughs> Is there? Oh, my God. Which I don't know why Star Wars fans get to be the only ones with eye problems. Yeah. Um, I also, <laughs> I don't think glasses belong to nerds. I don't think so. They really don't. And uh, mine are not fake, by the way. <laughs> I need them or I will get in car accidents, which is what you want, I think. I don't think you need to defend your right to wear glasses. I like, know. Who is this asshole? Is there, is there like some kind of thing that you feel this way about? Like, I, I feel like I'd feel this way about Broad City. <laughs> like, if someone right. said Broad City sucks, well, I would that's be like, the thing is, I'm like, you. It's, it's inherently misplaced priorities. I kind of want to just be like, okay, so that rage you're feeling. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, that's how I feel about the wage gap. <laughs> like, uh, oh that's like, something that's not media yeah. i get it okay i'm like i wish i could mobilize the rage you're feeling about something that matters i yeah. kind of like want to be like you know if you're trying to understand sexism or something like okay imagine that feeling you feel now imagine that you are star wars and yeah. someone said that yeah <laughs> like <laughs> you and all people like yeah, you <laughs> yeah yeah i'm mad about sexism because there are actual like you know problems that are caused star wars is fine star wars is not hurt by me saying it's boring no George i'm not lucas is still a billionaire yeah <laughs> like it's still gonna get made <laughs> i'm not making a dent in the star wars <laughs> it's not like a struggling upstart that i'm smacking down yeah you're not saying other people can't like it either you're just stating your own opinion yeah nerds are assholes They're is i think dicks. the point of this